It's like you want to develop these boys into young men, which is really important. And I think it's also really important that they receive that type of teaching from another black man as well. And when you think about one and done situations, why do you think some of these kids think that they can't go one and done if they go to an HBCU? Well, it was being talked to them, just like that worksheet. <laughs> I mean, that works, you piss me off, as y'all can tell. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it's being taught. It's being taught. And this is no knock on any culture from, uh, you know, different genders. Uh, I mean, excuse me, races, excuse me. Um, because they're great coaches, you know, every race, white, black, Asian, it doesn't matter. They're great coaches everywhere. Um, but to your point, um, there are so many people that have imprinted in people's minds that there's only one way to skin a cat, and that's not true. Um, you can do it any kind of way you want to do it, and that's that's the whole that's the whole beauty of this thing. Be the first, you know. Your organization be the first, you know. I tell you like this: Y'all seen the movie Glory Road? Yeah. That was a moment in college basketball history. We started five African American men in the national uh, the national championship game, and they beat Kentucky, who had Pat Riley. You know what I'm saying? And then you fast forward a little bit uh, forward to the, uh, not a little bit, a lot forward to the Fab Five mission. They didn't win a national championship, but they were groundbreaking. They were trendsetters. With those, with those uh, baggy shorts and those black Nike socks. You know, I don't know if you remember this, but you remember UNLV when they were, when, when they when they had uh, Larry Johnson and Stacey Augman. Larry Johnson had go to, you know, them boys swagged up. That was a moment in college basketball history. And then you think about the one and dones with, with Calipari did when he had, you know, he had the Derrick Roses and he comes with the John Walls and Boogie Cousins and those guys, Anthony Davis. People remember that moment. Like that was a great team. But there have been plenty of teams that have won championship or have been successful. But what's going to be the next group that you're going to say, Howard, do y'all remember when this happened? Do y'all remember when those young men decided to do this? Well, it's time, it's time for some new history to be made. You know, what's it going to be? You know what I mean? Who's gonna do it? You know, this is the time right now. There's, there's no better time than, than some young men to come together and say, you know what? Let's all go here and let's make our mark in history. The same way those other groups I just talked about did. I love that. I'm ready, I'm ready to suit up right now. You got me hype. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, I, I've read a little bit, but I've heard about some of your goals. You kind of mentioned some of them here. I mean, cultural impact clearly is one. What are your What are your short term goals for the program? What are your long term goals? We want to be a well respected program in Tennessee State. We want young men that come from good backgrounds that, that want to have a chance to make history, come here, uh, not just to uh, like I said, not just to win championships and go to pro, but they want to come here and, and, and have their life sharp. You know, we don't just teach basketball. We do life skills with our young men, PowerPoint presentations, think, talking about how to change a tire, how to tie your tie. I mean, there's so much things we, we work on with our young men. Uh, but in the, in, the, in, the, in the long term, obviously, we want to uh, be a team that makes history and makes a run in the NCAA tournament, uh, contend for a national championship. You know, one of the people, one of the programs that I've always uh, admired uh, is Wichita State. And I saw what they did making a run to the Final Four. And that, to me, that program is another program that you think about Fred Van Fleet and Ron Baker, you're like, man, remember what they did? Like, I, why, if Wichita State can do it, why can't Tennessee State do it? You know, it's it's no difference. It's just going to take a bunch of young men that are probably uh, got a chip on their shoulder, that has something to prove to all come together for one common goal. New flavors is lit. New flavors is lit. <laughs> Sorry, let me stop playing. Y'all need to quit playing too. We just brought back the sold out OT Play hoodies with a brand new flavor for y'all. Ooh, that's so special. Go check that out in the shop right now. And as always, check out more fire videos over here and don't forget to subscribe. Y'all know the deal, it's OT.